five candidates. Only one will become the next mayor of Spokane. This afternoon, all of them met at City Hall to tell voters why they deserve the job. Candidates and answered questions on their top priority for the city, their plans to address the homeless crisis and lack of affordable housing. New on Nightside, Kyle Simchuk brings us their answers. In their latest pitch to voters, Jonathan Bingle, Kelly Cruz, Sean Poole, Ben Stuckert, and Nadine Woodward were asked what their first priorities would be. Filling my cabinet with uh, a diverse group of people. Addressing our property crime issue and our homeless issue. A safe and secure Spokane. Uh, and that involves uh, the hard surfaces that we all drive on. I think about priorities in terms of our aging population, our youth, and our marginalized community. Public safety, number one priority. We have to make our downtown and our neighborhoods safer. Woodward says a big part of that safety plan involves a new response to the city's homeless crisis. If people are committing crimes to fuel their drug habits and they're living on the streets in a transient lifestyle, we give them two choices. They go to jail if they have a warrant over their head or they get treatment. We need to make it extremely difficult to be homeless, chronically homeless in Spokane. We also unfortunately have a group out there that are what I title anarchists. They just want to live on the street and live the free lifestyle and as soon as it gets hard and tough for them, they'll be moving on to another city. Poole wants more police officers without raising taxes. To see if any department in this city was over budget in 2017 or 2018 to the tune of millions of dollars. Uh, that right there alone is enough to pay for 30 new police officers. When it came to affordable housing, Stuckert and Bingle were at odds. We need to be building more affordable housing. 800 people in our community in 2018 had housing vouchers, and those housing vouchers are just as good as cash, but they couldn't find affordable housing in order to spend them on. Instead of making more free housing or low-income housing, what we can do is we can work with the county on the PDAs to help increase the amount of industries and jobs that are coming to Spokane so that people have more money in their pocket to spend toward housing. Where candidates can agree is that Spokane has a promising future. Of the five candidates, only two will make it past the August 6th primary to the November election. If you'd like to watch the full forum, we have a link on our website. Just head to KXLY.com. Reporting in Spokane tonight, Kyle Simchuk, KXLY for Nightside. Thank you, Kyle.